Hello guys, uh, back with another video, uh, finally getting back on track on doing videos. Uh, it's always hard when you've been away for a while and uh, and you, you, you start up and you feel like you're new again doing videos. So yeah, let's crack on and I want to do a couple of... Uh, couple of uh, video responses in this video so um, <clears throat> there's two video responses here and the first one I want to do a video response to is uh, Gunnardinho plays uh, my good friend Rob um, and that is spelling my name in uh, video games and maybe give you suggestions about good games uh, with those letters I was first trying to do my my channel name Rastendo but uh, fell short a couple with some other letters so I, I went with my real name Rasmus which is R-A-S-M-U-S um, which actually means the lovable in Latin um, uh, yeah let's start uh, first game I want to talk about is the Resident Evil game and that is Resident Evil Revelations which I think is a very good Resident Evil game if you want to get back into how the Resident Evil were uh, like Resident Evil 4 or stuff like that this is a very good Resident Evil game I finished this one and I absolutely loved it uh, so much better than 5 and 6 and all that shit uh, this is definitely ba Resident Evil back to form I haven't played the second one yet because I I don't have it <laughs> but uh, the one on Switch is like a digital download, I don't want to download, so if that comes physical I'm gonna get it, but... Resident Evil Revelations 4R And uh, then we got a really cool uh, Metrovania game um, That I think a lot of people know about, it's not a expensive game to get at all And that is Axiom Verge, and it's out for all the different platforms uh, I think there was only one guy that actually actually made this game uh, took him a long time to make it it's uh, it's very eerie and uh, uh, very kind of dark uh, very pixelated very 8-bit 16-bit but yeah very good game music is awesome as well uh, definitely get Axon Verge if you like uh, Metrovania games and then we got a game that I actually played 3D World first and then my nephew told me that this one is almost as good he actually said it was better and it's it it's it, it is as good but I prefer playing on the telly so uh, 3D World is my favorite out of the two but yeah what a game this is if you like 3D 2.5D platforming this is this is a uh, yeah a stellar uh, title to get uh, in that genre uh, definitely definitely pick it up Super Mario Land Super Mario 3D Land and then we have a game that I, <laughs> I seem never stop talking about but every opportunity I get to talk about this game I, I take it because this is the best game I played in the last couple of years uh, I mean at least after Breath of the Wild, but well, that's almost four years now ago But since then this is my favorite and uh, it's one of the best games I've played in my life And it is probably the best 2D platformer I ever played And it's a bit of a metrovania as well uh, Platforming, adventure, puzzle game uh, Absolutely amazing for the eye it's not too easy, it's not too difficult. I mean it gets really difficult in the end and if you want to get everything. One thing about this one though is that I got 99.9% .9 on this game and I don't know where the 0.1% is. Uh, it's just it's basically me just going into a room that I didn't go to the end of the room uh, because it's, you have to be everywhere in the map. To get 100% so yeah that pisses me off a bit but yeah it's not very often I go 100% on games so when I do that that's uh, you know that really shows that I uh, really like that game so and the next one uh, I haven't played too much to be honest but yeah 
it's it's not that many games on you. Uh, it's actually a, a Swedish made game uh, from back way back uh, to the Amiga 500 days. Uh, and it was dice. Uh, they were called digital evolutions, something like that before. I think uh, they never finished the game, so uh, strictly limited together with dice I think uh, finished the game and put it out there and it's a running gun very like 16-bit era uh, Mega Drive Super Nintendo style yeah so yeah I have to get this one from Strictly Limited and then we have a uh, Jesus Christ I feel like I'm <laughs> I'm going for the Swedish games but this is another Swedish developer and uh, it's actually from my city I would love to uh, get this signed by the makers actually uh, I know where their office is and uh, that is Steam World Dig 2 absolutely amazing Metrovania game as well you would say you could say uh, very much into the puzzle and adventure and uh, yeah you dig yourself down uh, collect stuff and uh, sort out puzzles and yeah what everything else uh, much better than the first one. First one is really good as well, but I definitely think there's much more depth into the second one of Steam World uh, Dig. So that's Steam World Dig 2. I'm definitely looking forward to what um, uh, uh, what are they called again? Jesus Christ, my eyes are too. Can't really see. I don't remember what the what the company is called now. Yeah, they, I mean, they bought up Red Art Games. No, oh, what's that called? Rising Star Games is part of that. Uh, and together with another company, they have Rising Star Games. I'm not sure. But last I heard that they are going with exclusively for Xbox. So that really pissed me off. Yeah, I hope I see their their games on the Switch in the future. So yeah, that's the first part of the this VR video. Uh, the next one we're gonna do a video response to Eddie, my good friend Eddie Rollercore, and uh, my favorite uh, box art on games. So back in a minute, in a GIF. So video response number two, uh, my favorite uh, box art. On games uh, many of my favorites I don't have anymore because I've sold off a lot of my collection so there will probably be a lot of like PS1 games on this list <coughs> um, uh, but yeah uh, I will take the one I have in my collection of course and uh, I wanted to have two honorable mentions because I actually wanted them on my list but uh, Eddie had them on his list so yeah, it makes more fun if I have other games on it. But I want to mention it anyway. I'm not totally agree with him. They are absolutely amazing. First one is Super Metroid on the Super Famicom. Wow. Absolutely amazing. I love that kind of 3D way they written Super Metroid there. you got Metroid and uh, shooting back. That's a big enemy there. Yeah, absolutely love that. That would be cool to have like a, a canvas with that, to be honest. And the second one, with that, which I absolutely agree on as well, Super Mario 3, uh, Super Mario Brothers 3. Yeah, it's so iconic. I love the yellow with the blue and red. And uh, with Mario there, Tanuki. Tanuki Mario flying. Yeah. So iconic. So that's a couple of honorable mentions. Uh, first off, uh, it's, it's pretty simplistic to be honest, but I absolutely love the gold with the yellow and orange. And that is uh, Super, uh, Mario Kart Double Dash, uh, the gold sleeve. And I don't know where you got this gold sleeve from uh, in the beginning. I think maybe it was a pre-ordering bonus, uh, maybe in the UK. Uh, yeah, but I got it now. Absolutely love it, and 
you see Mario and Luigi there on the cart, almost like in, in a silver kind of way with some color as well and then you have Mario Kart with a yellow and orange up there and together with the gold background it looks absolutely amazing I love this sleeve <laughs> so much uh, you know you guys know that I love Mario Kart so I always have to get that and then we got another classic but that got a re-release uh, last year and that is uh, Zelda Link's Awakening uh, the limited edition I love the front there with the volcano with a big egg up there yeah so iconic I, oh the glaring is horrible there you go I think they got that perfect to be honest that would always be nice or, or also be very nice as a canvas wouldn't it yeah yeah when I got this game I finished it maybe three four days after I got it uh, could have couldn't put it down um, and it was even better than I remembered to be honest such a good Zelda game and then we got uh, another um, game series that I kind of collect for almost that is Joshi I have a lot of Joshi games and uh, definitely like Joshi games and this is not of my f not any of my f it's not my favorite Joshi game at all Maybe even like third or fourth spot on the my, my Yoshi game list. But this is Yoshi Story on the Nintendo 64. And I absolutely love this uh, this box. Uh, and I, yeah, it looks so good. This is an American box. A little bit different than the, the PAL one. Yeah, absolutely love that one. Yeah, I love the... American spines with their different colors. Yeah, they really got it right there. But it's the front that's that really gets it into my top five. And then we got two more. One is the Shanti game, and uh, that is Shanti and the Pirates Curse, which I got last year or like two years ago. Yeah, so much going on on the cover. Uh, and it's absolutely amazing cover art that is see if I can get it all in there you see Shanti and all the other ones in the game yeah, absolutely amazing I do love my Shanti games I think way forward uh, it's a fantastic game developer usually get everything they they do nowadays and the last one is another Zelda game, and that's a Japanese uh, collector's edition, uh, limited edition, whatever you want to call it. So it's first the big box, and the game inside. I don't know which one I prefer of these two, to be honest. Maybe this one. You see a link right in the corner there. And yeah, this one is not bad either. Please focus. Come on, camera. Focus. 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 I don't know if that is that is that focused. I don't think it is. Why, why wouldn't it focus? Is it still looking for my head? Yeah. Anywho. So that was my two uh, VRs to um, Eddie and Rob. Gunnardino plays. I will have his um, channel in the doohickey downstairs and uh, Eddie uh, Roller Court, Roller Court X, the rollerblading maniac. Uh, see you guys later on another video and uh, be nice.